Hey everybody, I wanted to come to you this morning with a few things that I was reading this morning. Um, just this particular thing I was looking at was talking about prayer points um, for the church, things that we can be believing for. And one of those things was praying that the church would be a light during this time. And um, I read a quote by A.W. Tozier and it says, a scared world needs a fearless church. Um, and that is so true, especially during this time right now that we're all navigating and walking through. Um, just meaning when trouble comes, we the church, we should look differently than everyone else and respond differently um, than everyone else in the world is responding like. Um, and in doing so, I'm just going to read this to you. We will shine a light in a dark world that is without hope and peace, something most people are reaching for right now. And while the world is spreading messages of fear um, and uncertainty, we are instructed not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Um, Romans 12, 2. So that means we don't let the world tell us how to respond. We um, show them how to respond. We let the word of God be our guide. So a few of the points for praying that the church would do the following. Don't feed fear. So if you're in a conversation with someone, um, that's talking fear or talking regurgitating what the news said this morning or um, some you know negative things you have an opportunity to be a light and to be the positive force in that conversation and to stand out instead of joining with that fear-filled conversation pray that we would be an encouragement and speak God's word instead um, to exude confidence while others are panicking Christians should look differently we should bring hope and peace to an unsettling situation and demonstrate our faith um, and then offering to help pray that the church just steps in and offers to help instead of hoarding resources or um, acting like the world acts, that we would find ways to reach out to people, to the community, um, running errands for the elderly or praying for people over the phone. You know, just a quick phone call sometimes helps people. Um, I had a good FaceTime last night with a sweet friend and just by the time we got off, my spirits were lifted. Um, you know, we just had a great conversation, just talking about the word. Um, we laughed and I just, it just was nice to connect with somebody. So even a quick phone call, a FaceTime, just something to help people out, let them know they're not alone. Um, you know, it goes a long way. Um, so with that in mind, coming out of Romans 12 to talking about not being conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewal of our minds to the word of God. I was reading on into that chapter in verses 9 through 13, and I just wanted to read this to you. It's out of the Passion Translation, which I really love reading out of. Um, but it's in context of the time that we're in. It's such a beautiful passage, and so I just wanted to read this to you guys this morning. So Romans 12, 9. Let the inner movement of your heart always be to love one another and never play the role of an actor wearing a mask. Now, if that's not a word for today, I don't know what is. Wearing a mask in a season. Anyways, going on with the scripture, it really is good. I was just teasing about the mask part. It does say that, but anyways, despise evil and embrace everything that is good and virtuous. Be devoted to tenderly loving your fellow believers as members of one family. Try to outdo yourselves in respect and honor of one another. Be enthusiastic to serve the Lord, keeping your passion toward him boiling hot. Radiate with the glow of the Holy Spirit and let him fill you with excitement as you serve him. And just to stop right there, that's verse 11. Be enthusiastic to serve the Lord, keeping your passion toward him boiling hot. Like right now, we're not meeting every week for church and Sundays and Wednesdays, like keeping that passion for the Lord going in your own time. Like this is the time to step up and really dive into your private time with the Lord and prayer and, and getting into his word. Let this hope burst forth within you, releasing a continual joy. Don't give up in a time of trouble, but commune with God at all times. Don't forsake your time with the Lord. Take a constant interest in the needs of God's beloved people and respond by helping them. So I love how it says taking a constant interest in the needs of God's people. 
a lot of times we can get in times like this when things are going on around us it's a little easy to be me focused and wonder oh do I have everything that I need did I get enough toilet paper is there enough food it's kind of focused on on us and when we take a constant interest in the needs of God's people of other people the attention comes off of us and we can really serve um, and love on the people of God especially during this time and love on the world you know the people that need the Lord that need him in their lives we can love on them and share Christ with them so anyways um, bless you guys today have a great day and we'll see you soon bye